Hello everyone, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today, I have the recap between OneHive and RTK in the first week of the WWL. The WWL is a new war league. It is an all Tunnel 12 league with, with a minimum breakdown of 25 Tunnel 12s. A lot of the clans in this league uh, have been qualified for Poland before. Other names you might recognize are Vatang, Brock, INTZ, and Quebec Fury. But enough of that, let's take a look at the first attack. It's going to be Earth coming in with a Queen Charge Hog Rider attack. This is a cleanup attack with a similar plan. The change Earth made was instead of adding a uh, tanks or something in front of the wall wrecker, he decided to let the queen leave the base and then re-enter with the jump spell uh, on the AD there at 2 o'clock. King down for funnel, make sure she goes in, and eventually he's going to drop the jump spell right there. King lures the CC, going to poison that because it's a damaged CC. And Hog Rider is coming in from 12 with the Warden. Right on time as the Town Hall triggers. Warden ability on the Gigabomb. And now the queen is taking out most of the southern half of the base. And now the hogs are working their way through the northern part. Heal spells over the giant bombs and the bomb towers. And they're coming in on the inferno tower. Some extra hogs at 10 o'clock to take out the tesla and the archer tower as well as making a clear path for the cleanup troops. Speed up the cleanup a little bit, because this was getting a little close on time. Queen survives, and that is very helpful in any Queen Charge raid. Really want her on cleanup. And there you go. Next up is one of Maddie J's attacks. This one's going to be a yellow trone. Heroes are going to clear out the first AD, and then the Stone Slammer is going to come in right over the top of it without getting all the damage from the from the AD and then it's able to get further into the base with all those defenses taken out. Stone Slammer and e drags being dropped. No clone on this one because he brought a lot of e drags. So there's going to be four e drags in the middle of the base. It's going to use two rage spells on this push, and the rest is going to be used for the Lalo. The push is getting fantastic value in the middle, taking out the entire core, and almost taking out a second Inferno Tower at the top, but the loons are going to path right over that, so it's not a big deal that he didn't get it. Weakening the bottom Inferno with an E-Drag, and an E-Drag in the middle uh, triggering the town hall and getting a little bit of damage on it. Loons are collapsing in the town hall, warden ability used. And the base is totally crushed. 
three E drags plus the E drag in the slammer, two rage spells, and heroes uh, opening the way for the stone slammer. We're able to take out a huge chunk of the base, and loons have a tiny pathway through the outside of the base. Very nice fresh hit there. Next up is Tricky with a Mass Hog Attack. Heroes on this one are mostly to take out outside defenses, King at the top doing a King Swap, along with a few uh, Teslas and an Archer Tower. Queen is at 8 o'clock taking out some outside defense and defenses on the first layer. So now the path is pretty clear here from 5 o'clock. Hogs coming in. Heal over the first eagle shot. Another heal at six. Rage in the middle. And another heal going into the Inferno Tower. Stone Slammer comes in at 8 o'clock and take out a couple of defenses and support the hogs on their way to the town hall. Now there's not very many hogs going towards the town hall, but there's a couple. So he uses the warden ability early in order to get extra damage on the town hall with a smaller group. The smaller group does eventually take out the town hall. And then it's not a big deal that the Gigabomb takes them out, because there's a ton of hogs left, uh, left over that didn't get hit by the Giga Tesla. Not a very common setup for the mass hog attack, but it worked very well. Next up is a Queen Charge Minor Raid from Prince of Dubai. Pekka Wizard and Baby Dragon Funnel. Queen at 2 o'clock, gonna break in one layer and take out a huge channel in the base. Wall breakers narrowly avoid the mortar shells and take out the first layer. Queen through this channel is able to take out the Inferno Tower, Eagle, several Expos, and the CC pretty easily. Then clearly miners from one o'clock are able to take a take that thin pathway uh, about one heal spell wide and just go through the base. Then because he didn't need his siege machine to break up any walls uh, for the archer queen, he's able to save a stone slammer for six o'clock along with a haste spell to hasten the CC loons inside of it.
healing, trying to heal through the Giga Tesla. But that's not quite enough. So he freezes the Giga Tesla, and then right after the freeze, he's going to ward an ability to make all those in miners invincible. At the same time, the loons are coming in from 6 o'clock, taking out the rest, taking out the bottom half, and then we're left with an extra rage spell. Crushed. Last but not least, my clean of attack on number 19. Boulder Bouncer Funnel, Queen on the Lab with the healers. Gonna use the wall record to push her into the town hall compartment where she can reach the eagle, the king, a couple of expos, and make a thin pathway for the hogs at uh, 9 o'clock. Freeze and a wizard for the king, so I don't have to use a rage spell or the queen ability. Wreckers moving in. King at six for the funnel. And queen's going to make her way inside. Pekka's tanking a little bit for the queen. Rage spell on her to get her through the expos and the town hall. Dropping the hogs early. Since the king's still alive, the eagle is going to lock onto him instead of the hogs, so I can save the warden ability for a little bit later. Queen is going to trigger the CC, so rage on her and poison on the CC. And then two skeleton spells on the enemy AQ. Gonna use the warden ability now on the skeletons and the hogs. Hogs are gonna get through the bomb tower, and then the Tesla farm in the back. They're gonna have a heal spell that heal spell for that. So that's absolutely no problem. Clean up all around, and the space is done. It was a very exciting war with RTK. One hive was pretty well in front the entire war until the very end when RTK put up a huge cleanup performance getting a whole bunch of triples right in the end but one hive ended up with the victory by just two stars but anyway I've been Raised Gaming and I'm out